Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mr. 008 here, and today I have for you episode number 45 of my Bloons Tower Defense 6 Let's Play series. So in today's video, we are going to be playing All Camo Chimps, a uh, viewer submitted or viewer requested rather type of challenge. You guys can see here, no continues, monkey knowledge, powers, or selling, and we do have the All Camo modifier turned on. And chimps means that, of course, um, the game will not permit us to make extra money or to lose any lives and continue on in the game. So, we are going to start things off right here with a ninja. And um, I do look forward to attempting this challenge because I um, think that it is um, fun. It's unorthodox. It's not something that you see players trying to do regularly in this game, but I do want to uh, pursue this anyway. So, um, this challenge was, um, viewer requested, rather, um, in the sense that I put out a poll recently, um, asking which types of challenges um, you guys would like to see, and I did receive some votes on that, and the votes I did receive are in favor of the All Camo Chimps Challenge. So, um, that is the first type of challenge like this that I will be putting out on the channel, uh, because of that. So, I am thinking about how I can beat this. I am going to get the Sharp Sharkins first, and then I'm going to place Quincy after that. Um, sure, Quincy isn't necessarily the best hero to use. Um, he doesn't have automatic camo detection, and he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have the most popping power out of all, like, hero options or anything like that. Me? Nothing gets but, past my bow. Um, I figured I would still use him just because awesome. um, he's fun to use and he is better than he used to be because he does shoot a third arrow at level 19, I want to say, is when he gets that third arrow. So that will be pretty nice. I'm going to set the ninja to strong here because we do have some pink blooms coming out pretty soon. Now let's switch back to first. Just some simple micro there, Sweet. nothing too fancy. And we are going to go for a double shot now. And the next thing I want to get is something that will help me against lead blooms, which are coming up in just over 10 rounds from now. So that will be an alchemist. So, you may be wondering how an alchemist is the best for lead popping power, considering that we're playing on all camo, and alchemists cannot pop camo blooms, but there is a, another way, and that's with the Acidic Mixture Dip upgrade, and that is one of my favorite tier 2 upgrades in the entire game for any tower. And um, AMD is great because it gives a lead popping power when it is applied All right. to other towers. And it also gives bonus ceramic and Moab damage. So that is pretty nice. And it will come in handy starting on round 28 in this game. Next, I would like to get the third tier um, because the Berserker Brew is just a great upgrade, especially for towers that don't shoot crazy fast, even if they do shoot somewhat fast like the Ninja, and also it's great for towers that shoot multiple projectiles, because the buff lasts for a certain number of shots, um, ah. and, um, one shot, um, can still consist of multiple projectiles, so the buff would last less, um, like less time overall, if, the ninja shot twice as fast, but only one shuriken at a time. Um, but because the ninja shoots two shurikens at a time, and not incredibly fast, that means that the buff will last by, um, or for rather, a significant amount of time. So that is pretty nice. Now, I'm not sure if getting caltrops is the best thing to do right now, because I don't know if it 
um, shortens the duration of the Alchemist buff or not, but it seems to still be pretty steady, pretty reliable, and it will help Speed. us with Moab popping power, which we don't have that much of, but we do still have some Moab popping power, so that is pretty good. Um, and I think we will be fine for round 40. And the next round, I'm concerned about after that is probably 55. Yeah, I don't think 49 is going to be an issue with our current setup, especially since we also have Quincy who some? can pop camo balloons and we have his ability when we need to use it. So, I'm not sure what I want to go for next because um, I do have some money to work with and I don't have to spend it now. I don't have to save it either, but I am going to save it until... Um, I start running into a couple of issues, um, and only spend it when I need to, unless I reach something that is Incoming. just really nice to spend it on, whatever that may be. What next? So Quincy's not level 8 yet, he doesn't have the extra Moab damage yet, Come on. but we will use his ability right there, and we do take down the Moab, just like that, so that's pretty nice. Um... So going back to which rounds concern me, um, maybe round 50, but then again, Quincy yes. is about to level up and do ah. more Moab damage, so we do have that to help us out. Um, and we do have some ceramics here, but that will be no big deal. And I am thinking about um, something else regarding my channel. Um, real quick, I would like to talk to you guys about that. So, um, one of the things that I have always strived to do on YouTube is to continue to engage with viewers, no matter how big my channel gets. And, um, that is something that I noticed that a lot of larger channels fail to go through with, even if they want to go through with it, they tend not to do so. Um... But that is something that I would like to continue doing. And I think that one of the best ways to do that is through creating polls every so often about certain challenges and other things of that nature that you guys would like to see on the channel that you want to see me attempt. And um, that is another thing that I feel like is awesome. a great way to um, set myself up to be different from the average Blues YouTuber or the average mobile gaming YouTuber or anything like that. And that is to, um, to take on challenges that most people never think about, um, to just be unique in my way of playing the game and Incoming. my way of, um, showing what I'm capable of and all of that. So that is something that I would like to do as well. So there's the first Moab taken care of right there. Um, we are not running into issues just yet, but we are going to Come see. On. So is there's Quincy's rapid shot, and we do take down the rest of round 50. Nice. So we do have $29,000 saved up, which is more than I thought we'd have by now. Then again, I'm not used to saving up this much this soon, but we will see what we can do. So, Headshot. that Quincy's rapid shot once again right there. We may have an issue. No, we do not. That is good. So, um, the Grandmaster Ninja is a tower that we are not that far off from right now. Headshot. It is a tower that I'd like to try and get in this game. So we will see how that goes. And we will see Come if on. that ends up being a um, reasonable type of save up. So judging by how this round is looking, we probably do need to get more stuff. Um, because even with the Alchemist buff, um, it's looking like because we don't have Rapid Shot at our disposal, we will probably not be able to beat this round. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out and go back in. 
I'm not trying for a black border or anything crazy like that, um, but let's get the stronger stimulant and see how much that Incoming. makes a difference. So, Headshot. that Moab does pop um, before it goes all the way around, which is pretty nice. And the fourth tier Alchemist does make a significant difference. I do like that. So the buff is stronger, of course, allowing for even more pierce for our ninja, as well as some more Come range on. and lasting longer. So that's nice. Headshot. Oh yeah. There is round 55 taken care of. And we have Incoming! Just over three thousand dollars left to save up for the Grandmaster Ninja. Now, I don't know if this, I don't know if this is, is the best way to go about, um, like which towers to get in which order, but it's just what I want to go for in this game, and I would like to see if that ends up paying off or if it ends up being costly. So we will see. Bad shot. That. So there's the Grandmaster Ninja. We have a lot more consistency in our popping power right now. Um, granted, because this ninja does shoot faster, that means that our lead popping power may not be all that great because of the Alchemist BFB buff incoming. lasting a little bit less time, um, or less, like, less time because it is dependent on the number of shots rather than just the amount of raw time that passes, um, and all of that, um, so I'm not sure that we can put a village here, unfortunately. That would be a great spot for a village so that we can buff the Ninja, the Alchemist, and Quincy all at once. But we will see. And we can Sweet. put a, another Ninja right there, so that's good. I'm just going to get a simple Jungle Drums village for now. Nothing too fancy just yet. And I don't know if I want to go for another big save or not. Um... Because these leads are kind of annoying, but then again, um, I don't think that we'll have to worry Incoming. about them too much. So there's round 64, piece of cake, even the fortified Moabs. And Quincy has a second ability now, so that's pretty nice. We do have another um, failsafe sort of option if we do end up needing it. So, I'm not... 100% sure what I should be doing next, BSB but I do have an idea of what I want to go for next, and that is a permabrew. Now, you may be thinking that a permabrew is not necessarily the best thing to be going for next, um, because of how pricey it is, combined with how little value it may have right now, um, but it will have a lot yes, better incoming. value once we end up getting BFB some incoming. more towers, and I know just the towers I want to get, um, but I will not be um, revealing too much just yet, so stay tuned for that. But I do want to get a Perma Brew, and I am hoping that I can get that next. But then again, we do have money to work with if that does not end up working out. So, um... We are five rounds off from the next round that may cause a little bit of an issue. Not sure if it will. I mean, the Grandmaster Ninja is pretty solid. He's putting in some good work, and I am not worried at this point. But um, those double BFBs at the end of round 75 that look like singular BFBs, but with a little bit of shadowing on them. Nice! Incoming! Um, those are, in fact, two BFBs with very, very little space. BFB so incoming! We will have to um, be able to take care of those. And then, of course, the Regrow Ceramic Rush one at round 76. So, um, I don't know if we are going to be able to pop all of them, but I'm thinking that we have a decent shot at it, especially because we do have that Grandmaster Ninja. That has not been letting us down thus far, so we will see how we get along um, or get through with these next couple of rounds. And the leads, they're not dangerous, but they are a bit annoying at this point. Um, I think the next time we'll have to really watch out about 
like with our lead popping power is around 90 with the DDTs. So um, it's looking like this round may be problematic. You can so let's use Quincy's some. level 10 ah, ability incoming. to do end up popping them right there. Even though they were regrowing, we do end up popping them right there. So that's nice. BFB incoming! So, um, I'm also thinking about what else I want to do with my YouTube channel at this point. And I definitely do want to have multiple games that I regularly upload videos of. Um, but I don't want to lose viewership due to not posting everything about the same game. Um, so I'm wondering what game I want to, like, start a series on or reboot a series on on my channel at this point in time. If there are any games that you guys would like to see, feel free to let me know. Um, I do have some basic guidelines for which types of games that I want to make games on and which types I don't want to make games on. Um, but yeah, I, long story short, I'll take all, I'll take all suggestions into consideration as long as, one, um, the games are not pay-to-win or rage-inducing or anything else along those lines, um, two, as long as the games the are OMG not, incoming. um, made by a development company that I disapprove of major business decisions regarding, um, because, um, I did make a Headshot. video about why I quit Clash of Clans and why I will not be putting up any more Supercell game, awesome. um, showcases on my channel, BFB um, incoming. and all of that, so if you guys want to check out that video and you have not done so, um, feel free to do so, it's simply called Here's Why I Quit Clash of Clans, um, Headshot. But yeah, I, um, yeah, as long as a game is not pay-to-win, rage-inducing, um, or anything else along those lines, like, I don't have a lot of deal-breakers or anything as far as which games I'll post, but... Headshot! I definitely would like to, um, post gameplay that both I enjoy and my viewers enjoy, not just, um... Like, I don't want to play something that I don't like just because it's a it's a super Incoming. popular game or whatever. And I don't want to play something that I like that my viewers aren't going to either. So I am thinking about um, trying to balance that out. And some viewer suggestions would definitely help me in Is doing that all so. You got? So here we are on round 84. Um, we are almost um, coming up on round 90, but we're not all that close yet, so I don't think we have to be worried at this point, especially because we can get permabrew right there, and I will also get faster throwing right. that way. Um, I can incoming. get buffs on towers that much sooner after I place them, but there's no need to go any higher than that with cross Is that all you got? So, yeah, there is that. And next thing I would like to get BFB is... Incoming. Probably, probably put this ninja right there. Is that all you got? And I would like to go for a bottom path ninja next. So here is a third tier, and I would like to go for a fourth tier at the very least, a sticky bomb. And the reason for that is Head to shot. have just a little bit better more reliable Moab popping power, especially against single targets. Because grouped popping power, I don't have an issue with, and I don't see myself having an issue with that for the Incoming. rest of this game. Is that all you got? Um, so yeah, I would say that getting a little bit more single target consistent popping power in that regard is a um, solid choice to make. So there's the sticky bomb. Yes, incoming! And I would like to start getting some more buffs for my ninjas. BFC incoming! I know just how I want to do that. So let's go ahead and place some ninjas right here. DDT incoming! And DDTs on round 90 are no problem at all is reassuring 
They weren't like immediately like Is that all you got? They weren't like immediately popped, but they were still popped pretty um swiftly. So that is nice. C O M G um, incoming! Let's see, I think that's seven. Let's get three more for now. So I can't see what's going on over there for right now, so I'll Headshot. Wait. Yeah, it's looking like there's no room right there. Just trying to maximize space. That's all. So that's why this may look like it's taking longer than it should. So that's 10. And let's upgrade along the middle path with the Shinobi Tactics. That's what we want next. So the Shinobi Tactics does not only increase attack speed, DDT but it also incoming. increases pierce is that all you got? of all nearby ninja monkeys. So that is something I'm really looking forward to getting for this defense. COMG and they buff incoming. each other as well, so having that little bit of distraction is nice as well. But Headshot. the main reason I'm getting these ninjas is of course for my Grandmaster Ninja. So let's go like that. We have six so far, all in range, so that's good. And here is round 95. Let's see how we fare with a seven times buffed Grandmaster Ninja. And Incoming! Pumper. Looking pretty good, pretty easy. I like that. <laughs> BFB like what I see. Inco Incoming! There's 10. And we may be good for the rest of the game without having to get anything else, in fact. We'll get a sabotage right there, just in case we need it for 98 or 99. Is that all you got? And I'd say we have nothing to be worried about at this point. Is that all you got? I incoming. am the best. Here's DDT 99. Incoming. Let's just use this just because. Uh -huh. And what there guys? is our uh, max level Quincy. Just to show you guys, shoots three arrows at a time starting from round 19. And that makes Quincy better in a way than he was when he first came out. Come on, so all you got? That is pretty nice. You can and all let's just have use some. our abilities just for fun. And there we go. There is our all camo chimps challenge beaten on Park Path. So that's pretty nice. And our Grandmaster Ninja is the MVP, having gotten um, almost 80% of all of the pops. So that's pretty nice. And um, there we go. And let's yeah. see, Quincy got 166,000, Sticky Bomb got 91,000, and then all the Shinobis got a few pops here and there, and all of that. Um, is good all as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this, this video and um, subscribe for more interesting content. And I will be putting out some more polls soon because I definitely like to um, hear viewer feedback on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge and um, to those of you who voted for it, thank you. And I will talk to you all again in the next video. Peace out.